All right. So we're checking out a French Quarter. Uh, we're going to Animal Kingdom tonight. We're staying at the Aventura because we're going to Universal for the next two days. So French Quarter, it's been real. It's been awesome. I love this hotel. It's beautiful. Uh, but I'm kind of excited to check out the new uh, hotel at Universal. So we will see you guys at Animal Kingdom. Sun is shining. Allegedly, it's not supposed to rain today. We didn't bring our ponchos. We do have the umbrella just in case. Uh, we're getting a little late start today. The park opens at nine. It's eight fifty-two. We're not even. <laughs> we're just barely walking up. Uh, we're gonna try to do Kilimanjaro first. We have a ten ten fast pass for dinosaur, uh, and like eleven thirty for Everest. And then we got a fast pass for flight of passage actually. So we have one at like I think it's three thirty. We should be able to do that. Are you excited? This is the park you're most hyped about. She's never been here before, and she loves animals, so should be good. Uh, what do we say at the beginning? Turn it up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This place has been open 20 years. Every time I come here, it feels like still like it's new. I don't know this park remotely as good as the other three. Uh, I've probably only been here like a handful of times, maybe 10 at max. Uh, so I'm not as good. I don't even have this park memorized. But it's okay, because I'm still better than most people here. We're gonna figure this out. All right, ready to go? Yep. We're gonna rush to Mount Kilimanjaro, and then we're gonna go back in time and save some iguanodons. Sound good? All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the oasis is like the intro. Uh, you just see some animals. I don't know if for sure there's anteaters over here, but we're not gonna wait right now. We can come and do this later. Right. On the way out, I promise this will be here. They're in cages. Uh, the tree of life. It's so cool. All right. Yes, sir. Have a wonderful day. And the line for Pandora has already stretched to Discovery Island. I am so glad we have fast passes for this. This is on our way to Africa. Like this bridge, this is going all the way to Africa. Don driving good. Hope that ride's worth it, y'all. We'll see you at three o'clock after. <laughs> right now, we're going to Africa. Uh, oh yeah, forget. They moved Festival of Lion King to Harambe because Camp Mini Mickey is not a thing anymore because Pandora is. Five minute wait on Kilimanjaro. That's why you rope drop things, people. Even if we're a little late, still getting there early enough. You excited? You ready to go on safari? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. I think it's gonna be a little longer than five minutes. <laughs> old about nine months old maybe born here back in january and he already weighs over 600 pounds 
<laughs> Very hard to see him sometimes, so I got, I'm glad we got a good view of him this morning. You can see those pink bats tall, which is to say about 18 to 20 feet. They also have a white horse of about 2,000 pounds per square inch, which makes them one of the world's strongest hunters. More uniform pattern to their coat, very much like netting. Now, a giraffe can reach a height of 18 to 20 feet tall. You can see them right over there. They are pretty up to five feet long. They're actually hollow, though, and on the inside of those horns is a honeycomb-like structure of blood vessels. So blood will run up the horn, cool down, and then go back throughout the rest of the body, and that nice circulation pattern keeping the cattle nice and cool. Just one of the unique ways that uh, a lot of the animals out here have learned to adapt to their environment. Now you can see those horns on the giraffe's head. They're not actually horns at all. They are called ossicones. They're made of bone and they're... At the grass, but we should be okay. <laughs> nice and easy. Oh. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. We are okay. 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 We are fine. We are fine. I'm a trained professional. We are okay. That was close. That was really close. Of females. Oh, there's a little baby elephant back there. You can kind of see her. Oh, I think one just went right in front of her. Oh my goodness gracious. That baby's about two years old and she already weighs over 2,000 pounds, so I hesitate to call her an actual baby, but she is pretty big. She's still a baby con <laughs> in elephant standards, though. Like I said, she won't be considered an adult until about 16 years old. Reserve is over 40 years old, which is okay. We expect to have her around for a pretty much a, long, a little while longer. They could be over 50 years old. Now, these now rhinos like to herd together in groups called a crash because their eyesight is very poor. They can only see about 10 feet in front of them. We're gonna come around and get a pretty good look at that lion right over here. Now, warthogs actually have two separate tusks. They have the upper tusks, which are big and bulky, and they're used to help build burrows, and the lower tusks, which are short, stubby, and razor sharp, that are used to help defend burrows. So, when I was a kid, there was like a big poacher storyline where like poachers came and stole a baby elephant. We had to go chase him down. Uh, apparently, they don't do that anymore. It's more about conservation, which I get. You don't want kids seeing elephants getting shot. But it was really cool. I like chasing down poachers, but I guess we don't do that anymore. Uh, who knew? I didn't know that. I don't know if you can see, there's a gorilla over there. Oh, He's just chilling.